Hey guys, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to hook up your Roku TV or your Roku media player to your Google Assistant. And to do this, we're first going to make sure that we're up to date with our Roku device. So go down to settings and then next go all the way down to system. And then once you get into system, we're going to go over and do a system update. And this is just to make sure that the most recent software is downloaded on our Roku TV or our Roku media player. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. And then it's going to go through the process of updating our software if it hasn't already. And I'm going to fast forward a little bit here. So now it's going into its restart reboot phase. Well, it, it'll go to a black screen for a while and then go to this red Roku screen. And then it's going to finish the boot up process, take us back to our homepage. So the next thing we're going to do is go over to our smartphone device so we can take on the next step of hooking things up. So we're going to go to our Google Home application on our smartphone device. It's going to launch the Google Home app. The next thing we're going to do is make sure we're on the home page here within the app and click the little plus sign that says add. And once we click that little add symbol there, we're going to click set up device and then click have something already set up there at the bottom. It's going to take us to a list of different accounts that you can add in to your Google Assistant. It's in alphabetical order, so if you want, you can just scroll all the way down to where it says Roku like I'm doing in this. Or you can just click in the search with the magnifying glass up at the top and just type in Roku. Either way is fine. So you click on Roku, and it's going to take you over to the Roku authorization webpage and it's going to connect your Roku to Google. You got to make sure that you have a Roku account. And if you already have a Roku player, then this is whatever you initially set that up with. So you enter in your email and password and then click continue. It's going to continue on through this authorization process. You can have it either remember your sign in or not. It doesn't really matter. Click accept and continue at this point once you read through that and then click the particular Roku TV or device that you want to hook up and then click continue to the Google application. It's going to set up your Google Assistant to your Roku player and make sure that everything is linking properly and then it's going to take you back to the Google application and the home page of that and show you that your smart device has been added and it should show up on this page as being hooked in to your Roku device. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys. Thanks for stopping on in. Hope to see you back here for future videos.